Hi, hello, and welcome back to my channel. My name is Rachel Haddon, if you're new here, and I have a series on my channel all about nutritional fads, diets, trends, and myth busting. So today I wanted to talk to you guys about the gluten-free diet. And just a, a notice for anyone <laughs> clicking onto this video, if you are allergic or sensitive, intolerant, to gluten, then I am sure your doctor has made you aware of these things. And, you know, I'm sure you're taking a supplement. For those of you who are not allergic, intolerant, not sensitive, and are just choosing to eat a gluten-free diet based on the premise that it is healthy or that it will make you lose weight, I wanted to talk to you guys about six reasons why that is a lot. The number one thing I wanted to talk about, I'm actually going to mention at the very end. So stay tuned for that. It is for sure the most interesting. So stay tuned. And first off, let's talk about fiber and the lack of fiber you will be getting when you choose to eat a gluten-free diet. You aren't eating any whole wheat. And whole wheat is the number one source for fiber in somebody's diet. And a lot of other foods can provide fiber, but none are as rich as whole wheat. So some of the benefits of why you would want fiber in your diet would be because it can increase digestion. It is high in antioxidants and it's also anti-inflammatory, which... I'd love to tell you guys more about because um, anti-inflammatory foods can do wonders for your health in the long term and even in the short term. It can also help with skin, which is um, something I was super interested in recently or, you know, over the past couple of years. But um, yeah, the, the final reason why fiber is good for you is because it can actually lower your risk of cancers and heart disease. So... You definitely don't want to miss out on eating a diet high in fiber. And another reason why, you know, gluten-free diet is actually damaging to your health long term would be because you have an increased risk of type 2 diabetes. And I found this really interesting while I was researching. I'll link the articles below, but they, um, you know, did a long-term research project on people who ate gluten-free and people who actually ate um, a diet rich in gluten and you're actually less likely to contract type 2 diabetes if you eat a diet high in in gluten. So yeah, that's another reason why you would, you know, opt to eat gluten other than it tasting good. I mean, come on guys. But, um, yeah, you know, another thing would be the lack of vitamins, essential vitamins and nutrients that you would be removing from your diet. I will put a list, a comprehensive list up on the screen for you guys, but some of the things you would be missing would be, you know, vitamin B, folic acid, iron, zinc, calcium, thymine, niacin. There's actually quite a few of these essential nutrients that you would be, you know, lacking in your diet if you don't eat any gluten-based foods. And um, another reason why the gluten-free diet will not help you, you know, is because it can actually result in weight gain. And this is because, you know, a lot of foods that say that they're gluten-free or that are made to be gluten-free tend to be higher in calories and sugar. And um, I'm sure you guys know sugar can be damaging to your body long term, but um, also just eating the, the best way to lose weight. I'm sure you've heard it before, and if you haven't, listen up. Eating a caloric deficit is the only way to lose weight. I don't care what diet you're doing, what foods you're eating, the way that you lose weight and the reason that this diet is working is because you are eating at a deficit of what your body is burning and what you're consuming. Only way, scientific fact. But, you know, continuing on, if you're eating foods higher in calories, like most of these gluten-free foods, then 
you are going to be hurting yourself long term and not reaching those goals of losing weight. But, um, you know, there are a lot of gluten based foods that are unhealthy or, you know, those that are healthy too. So limiting maybe the consumption of unhealthy ones isn't isn't a bad thing to do. I think the problem is that most people eat this diet and they assume because something has no gluten in it, oh, well, this is good for me or this fits my diet. It has no gluten in it. But I mean, there's a lot of foods that are gluten free already and they're not good for you or they're high in calories and sugar, or, you know, things like candy, like lots of junk foods, you know, candy and French fries, neither of those things have gluten in them, but they're not going to help you long term lose weight if that's your goal with this this diet choice. Um, another thing is that gluten free foods are straight up expensive. Like if you look at gluten free bread or gluten free pizza crusts, um, really anything in the store, they're typically two or three dollars more money than the alternative. And they're lacking these nutrients. So if you're not allergic, you really shouldn't waste your money. Don't waste your money, honey. Don't waste your money, honey. Okay, I hate myself for saying that. But, um, yeah. So I know you've been waiting for it. The final thing I wanted to say about this. In school, when I was studying nutrition, my teacher touched on the fact that eating gluten-free foods can actually damage the, um, there's these little things inside of your intestines called cilia. They look like little hairs that come out and they actually are what take the nutrients, the vitamins and minerals from the food that you're digesting and absorb them into your bloodstream and then your body can, you know, use them. But if you eat gluten-free foods, you know, baked gluten-free foods or anything that has gluten actually removed from the food that normally would, these can actually, if you're not intolerant or you're not allergic, you know, this can actually damage these cilia and result in your body not being able to absorb the nutrients, the vitamins, the minerals that it needs to eat a healthy, balanced diet. And so you're hurting yourself long term by eating these foods and then you might be eating a lot of other healthy things, but your body isn't absorbing any of it or very little of it. And that can just hurt you in the long run too. And it's such a waste. So, you know, you would hate to do that to yourself. And I, I found that really interesting when I first heard it. Well, that's it today, guys. And I hope to catch you on the next one. If you want to learn more about nutrition or you found this interesting, definitely subscribe and give me a thumbs up. I can't wait to keep sharing content with you guys and would love to hear from you. Bye for now.